Okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, okay, my name is Zanaria Muhammad. Okay, today uh, I would like to um, present using SPSS, uh, analyze uh, the data uh, and show using um, uh, with a different types of uh, statistical analysis. All right. Uh, before that, uh, for the first uh, question for SPSS hands-on is uh, regarding to determine the difference of BMI between athletes and non-athletes. Okay, so uh, we start with uh, the data that I have, All right? Okay, this is the uh, data regarding uh, athletes and non-athletes, and uh, and this is the value of BMI. Okay, all right. So how to analyze? Uh, first is uh, we need to um, we need to set the hypothesis. Set the hypothesis. Uh, what is the hypothesis? Okay, so from this data, I have a 60, um, 60 uh, per person, 60 sample. Okay, so uh, uh, I can um, say that this is the difference of BMI uh, and the hash O is um, mu athletes equal with mu nine athletes. So um, the hash A is mu athletes uh, not equal mu nine athletes. So we can assume it, uh, we can see that this is um, two tail. Okay, so level of significance is given, which is the uh, alpha equal alpha equal zero point zero five, and uh, the assumption is the difference of BMI is um, dependent variable, which is difference of BMI uh, and random sample and data normal distributed, which is um, uh, two sample uh, independent of each other, which is between the athletes and non-athletes. Sample size, sample size is big, which is a uh, sample is more than 30, but we need to divide by two because of this is regarding uh, between athletes and non-athletes. So uh, when the sample is shows uh, 60 sample, uh, divide by two is 30. So 30 is, um, uh, the sample is uh, big enough. Okay, when we find the assumption, we can assume uh, that we can use the uh, analysis by using uh, independent test based on the assumption that uh, we find. All right, so how to do uh, the independent, uh, how to do the test statistic in independent test? All right, so. First, we go to analyze and then um, we go to compare means and after that we choose the independent sample t-test. Ok. 
Okay, here we can see we have a means, we have one sympathy test, we have independent sympathy test, and etc. So we choose an independent sympathy test. Okay, in the in this dialog box, uh, we select the variables require, which is uh, a status in and BMI. Okay, so so now we go. Uh, we uh, select the test variable is um, BMI. Right, so for a status athlete and non athlete is in grouping variable. Okay, um, after that, we choose a define groups. Okay, group number one and group number two, and then continue. Then we choose, we click. Okay, all right. So from here, we can see that this is group statistic, athletes and non-athletes. And this is for independent sample test is um, equal variance assume and equal variance not assume. Okay. Okay, this is group statistic and the below is independent sample t-test. Okay, we, we, we see the group statistic first. All right, so uh, BMI for athletes and non-athletes and 30 for both uh, status. So we just uh, see mean for athletes BMI athletes is 23.03, uh, uh, meanwhile, BMI for non-athletes is 26.58, uh, 26.58. Uh, 26 okay, standard deviation for athletes is 1.026, uh, and BMI for non-athletes is, is 1.057 okay okay based on this result in independent sample t-test BMI for equal variance assume um, if 11 uh, p-value is not significant which is based on the null hypothesis, the equal variance is assumed. So, p value here is 0 0.0.001. Okay, so the uh, so the interpretation here, here is p val p val p more than alpha, which is fail to reject hash null. Um, when uh, if eleven's uh, test is not significant. Uh, so we can see the t value here which is uh, negative 13.1 negative 13.2 all right so df if is 58 Okay. And uh, 
Okay, from this data, the conclusion that we can, uh, I can uh, uh, do is uh, non-athletes M uh, equal to 26.58, uh, standard deviation 1.06, reported had significantly higher BMI than athletes. Uh, which is mean 23.03 and standard deviation is 1.03. T is negative uh, 13.2 and P value is 0. Uh, P value less than 0. 0.05. All right, that's all. Thank you.